I get this question very often from my brand new baby fundamental students who ask me, how, how do I know which is which? Like teaching people how to read needle packaging. So I'm gonna help you with that today. For simplicity's sake, we're going to use the same needle um, and read it in all the ways that it can possibly be read. Just to make sure that you understand how to truly read, no matter what language it's written in, let's say. So today we're gonna to be talking about five round shaders but they're written this way sometimes, sometimes they're written this way, and sometimes they're just written like this. So what's the difference, and what do these mean, and why are there so many extra numbers, right? So when we're looking at this one in particular, it says 1005RS. Don't panic, I got you. Okay, so one zero is actually its own needle, uh, its own number grouping. So it reads 1005 RS, and that stands for diameter. And then we have 05 because it is five needles in this configuration, and RS stands for round shader. Okay, so here's a harder one, right? It looks similar, but different. 1005 RSB, what does that stand for? That stands for a number 10, five needle, Shader on the bar. On the bar? The bar? Don't be shocked. On the bar simply means that this fits on a rotary machine or um, a coil machine. So possibly a tradi for traditional body art, you know, it's got the longer bar, Look, it looks like this. So typically as PMU artists, we are now using cartridge needles. But back in the day, we were using needle on the bar um, with a tube that fits over the machine so that you have a, a place to grip, essentially. And so this is how the needle codes are differentiated whenever we're creating them, packaging them, and then eventually organizing them. And this little cutie is probably the packaging, like, code that you're most familiar with, just regular old 5RS, which of course stands for five round shader. Now, uh, I know that this is the most commonly way to write, the most common way to write this configuration, but I wanna point out to you that some information is actually missing from this short form of packaging coding. Um, I don't know what diameter each needle in the grouping is, whether it's a number 10 or a 0.25 or whatever. Um, and I don't know if it's a long taper, a short taper, a regular taper, so a little bit of needle knowledge is actually missing when this is written in shorthand. So though you may prefer it because it's a little more simple and um, certainly less complicated to read and there's less things to remember, you're also getting less information when it's written this way. Additionally, there are a few other things written on that needle packaging, right? Like I'm sure you noticed this number two with the don't sign on it. Any Office fans out there? Don't, don't bother Luke, no? Okay. Um, that simply means single use, so please don't use needles twice. I know that probably sounds like a no-brainer, but you'd be surprised. Um, and then of course, there's always some kind of expiration date. Now, how does a needle expire? A needle does not expire. Actually, we're talking about the sanitation of that needle, the sterilization of that needle. So your needle should be sterilized by either gamma ray or more commonly EO gas. And that expiration refers to when that sterilization um, is void, which is usually around uh, a two year mark. So as long as the packaging is not open, your needle should be good until this date. Um, yeah, and that's the wrap on learning needle packaging, how to read them, how to organize them. And if you'd like more content like this, you can always find me on my Instagram, DM me anytime, at victoria.glam. Have a great day.